bunch of threes. Was there something specific that they were able to take advantage of? Just terrible defense. I mean, we wasn't playing great one-on-one -on -one defense, and once that happened, getting to the paint, guys collapsed, and they was able to knock down shots. Will that be something you guys will look into? Oh, defense. for sure. We don't want to have the same problems we had last year. That's what we was worse at that last year. It was very bad giving up so many threes last year. So we definitely want to take that emphasis away. Um, we definitely have to take pride, including me and everybody else, to take pride in guarding your man one-on-one -on -one, because this league is space it, attack, and find your shooters. Can you talk about the... I'm sorry. It sounds so... Are you suffering from a cold a little bit? I don't, I don't know what I got, but <laughs> it don't sound good right now. <laughs> <laughs> can I ask a question? Um, you know, Coach was saying that sometimes he turned to his coaching staff and said um, he couldn't believe some of the things you were doing out there. I mean, do you just get in that flow and you're flying the dunks in the alley from Bradley? Is there anything that stands out especially for you? That, no, it's just like, wolf season. Wolf season. Yeah, yeah. that's my mother. I'm yeah. wolf season. Yeah. So I put a lot of hard work and dedication into this summer of just being healthy and able to work. And without my teammates, those guys making shots and playing defense and setting screens for me, I wouldn't be able to be the player I am. So. Can you? Can you expand on Wolf season for people who don't know? Just keep watching. <laughs> <laughs> John, you played seven minutes. Do you think that by the end of the game you had better legs? Uh, I was cool. I mean, I, one thing is me and Brad has found a way of figuring out to take turns of who's hot and who's not. And even when I'm hot and he's open, I still try to find him. And he had a rhythm when he got going. And I said, OK, find Brad now. And, uh, that's good that we can have that. Can you talk about the confidence that you and the rest of the teammates and the coaching staff, everybody seems to be having in Ubre and his development and growth uh, coming well, into this season? Well, you know, me last year we said he was an X factor to our team. He was a big key. Um, and he used it as motivation through the summer. And I can be honest with you and, and tell the truth since training camp and practice, he's been doing great. He's been coming in challenging, making plays, and just being more smarter. And uh, he's willing to listen. And that's what's helping him improve it. Even though this is just one game, he's going to be a big part of our team. John, John we know John, we know about the oh, we know about the landscape of the East. You know all these big guys, you know joining forces. You guys kept the core, of course. What message did you send all these these big um, super teams about keeping the core? Oh uh, well, you know what I mean. It, it really doesn't. It, we try to get players.